Wow. 50 subs! I know I sound sarcastic, but trust me, I'm ecstatic. If I told my 10-year-old self that I would get this many subs, I'd be probably starstruck. Let's get a few things out of the way. I sound like a 12-year-old boy, but the truth is, I'm actually a fully grown woman. I cannot tell you how many times I would go into voice chat lobbies and they would think I would be like this super young, still in middle school kid. I'm American. I live in the state where Momchilo died. It's a really weird thing to say. And for some reason, I have that uh, in my head. Speaking of Serbs, I would love to communicate with you guys. I really do. Uh, but number one, YouTube erased community subtitle functions, uh, and I don't speak it. I know very few Serbian words, uh, mostly because of Turbo Folk. I kind of know a couple of phrases here and there, but I don't understand Serbian. Uh, I said it once uh, in my quick announcement video, and I'll say it again. I don't want to make this a mainly Turbo Folk channel. Uh, not that I hate it. I like it. Hell, I'm making a video series about it. Uh, I, this isn't going to be a mainstay. I mean, cleaning up audio, recording audio is an easy thing to do. Making thumbnails, scanning a cassette album covers. It's easy to do, but most of my stuff, well not most, but all of the stuff that you see on my channel is done with tapes that I have. Meaning, let's see here, I think I have the video that I just uploaded. Here's my copy. I know that most of my content is just mainly Turbo Folk related things, but do keep in mind that I'm going to spread out to other things like commentary or even reviews on collectibles that I own. It won't be mainly Turbofolk content in the future. Currently, I've finished recording audio for a commentary video and also the Turbo Folk Files episode 1. Now for the commentary, I just need to record gameplay footage and for Turbo Folk Files, I just need to edit the audio and then the video itself. And depending how long that's gonna take, they might take about like a few days each because I do take my time with these videos. I watch videos, I edit them. You should see what I don't Put in videos it's interesting episode two the turbo folk files has been scripted i'm actually actually no i'm finishing up scripting right now afterwards i'll just wait till i'm done with the other two videos on my backlog then i'll start uploading that as well now for the special announcement i'm actually working on cleaning up audio for a tape i have been for several weeks actually now, uh, I'm having some technical difficulties, um, like this. Now, believe me when I say this, both audio channels sound equal. That right channel looks like a audio bomb. And I don't know what is happening because I had the same problem with the Nevesina Trebinje upload, where for some reason it looks like the audio is going to blast your ears out, but for some reason it sounds fine? I don't know what's happening with my Walkman, or maybe it's the aux cable. I don't know, and frankly, I'm a little bit worried. I'm going to buy another aux cable. If it still persists, I'm going to have to check my Walkman, if anything. It's just weird. I don't know what's going on. I swear when I listen to it on headphones, the tape sounds better than it actually does on the aux cable output. I don't, I don't know what's happening, and frankly, I'm a little worried. 
if and when I get the technical difficulties sorted out, there may or may not be a drought of Turbo Folk content. That being because I haven't bought any new new Turbo Folk tapes. I guess I should really outline my mission. The thing is, when it comes to Turbo Folk tapes, if I don't find it on YouTube, and if I don't even see it on Discogs, I will buy the tape, and, well, in the case of Discogs, I'll scan everything and upload it to the database. If it's with YouTube, you know me. Record the audio, clean it up the best you can, make it sound at least a tad bit nicer, and then upload it. And because I don't like Boss Media. It's clearly there on eBay. It exists as an eBay listing. But what if it was online online? Not just a temporary listing that will eventually get closed and go away forever, stuck in the Google cache. I want to change that. And you know, I'm not a genericide. I'm not a Nasha Srpska Arhiva. But what I can do is if I don't do a good job, I've put my foot in the door for you guys. I feel like sometime in the future, maybe as another subspecial or something, I don't know, I'll do another terrible tutorials where I show you how I clean up my audio and get it out there to the world so that you too can be a tape uploader yourself, an archivist. Is that how you're supposed to pronounce that? Ar archivist. Ar ar archivist. I, I, can, oh, I can English. I would love to teach you how to do all sorts of things. Just my craft to get you in the door, but please keep in mind, I'm an amateur who half the time doesn't know what they're doing. As long as something sounds nice, you know, that that's fine. Get that out of the window, you know? But if you do have any inquiries or anything, I do have a business email on my YouTube. It was initially set up just in case if companies contacted me and asked me to, you know, remove music that I've uploaded that's not mine. Oh, speaking of music, here's some other behind the scenes info. Now, I initially record my stuff and export it to FLAC, but my video software gets super picky with it. So as a result, I have to upload it to the second best lossless format, .wav. So the stuff that you're hearing on YouTube is actually a .wav file. Remember, pirating is bad. Don't do it, you're gonna get in jail. Uh, don't go to jail, don't get fined. Stay out of that stuff. Where was I? Oh yeah, anyways, thank you guys for 50 subs. Uh, I promised you I'm gonna make that video and to teach you how to archive your own stuff. Uh, but not now, probably not next week, but I promise sometime in the future, I promise you guys I'm gonna make it happen. All right? so. Thank you guys so much for 50 subs. I'll see you in the next video.